Hi there and welcome back. If you're new then hello and welcome. My name's Tanya and I'm from Tatty Treasures. Um, <clears throat> all my contact details are down below in the description. So last weekend and this weekend we've been doing some uh, botanical projects and today we are going to make um, a couple of, I don't know what they are really, I think fold out pocket type booklet things um yeah I'll have to think of a better title than that won't I <laughs> um so I'm just gonna make two because I have made um enough things so far to um make some packs to put them in Etsy uh, so I'm just making two to go with um my stash for when um I make a couple of journals so all you'll need is two envelopes doesn't matter what size doesn't matter if they're um i think it, this is invitation isn't it when it's like this and then um a flat one that's um a business something like that but anyway it doesn't matter what opening um you've got you don't even need envelopes i mean you can do this with some card um, but I've got a stack of envelopes, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, I've got a couple of pockets um, already made up, and uh, Violet sent me these, so the die-cut pockets. So I'm thinking I might as well get those used up. So <clears throat> you're just going to want a couple of pockets, and you can either make them, you know, with the flaps to give it a bit of a gusset, or you can just... Um, you know have a piece of card and just stick it down like that and <clears throat> but then it's only you know you can only put something thin in and then I've got these two like file folder type things um but you know like a belly band um and you could cut this out yourself by hand or I know you can use the envelope punch board and Julie at Camellia Crafts I've done a video about that. I'm yet to try that. Um, I've watched a video a couple of times, but I've still not, still not got round to it. So the book that I've been using in this series is the Concise uh, British Flora by um, Martin Keeble, and it's a wonderful uh, book. It's not really the kind of book that you want to be fussy cutting out of. Yeah. There's some images that you could fussy cut out, but most of them, um, they're very thin um, and stuff. But this is fabulous for, for making things. So I want a couple of pages what are uh, more green. So this would be perfect. And I'm thinking I'm, I might need two and a bit for, for each one. So I take five out. Um, that should be plenty so that's two oh that one's okay three like at the side of this I think that might be be nice so that's five I'll leave that out just in case um I do need any more um I'm gonna have to cut this down to, to get it into my paper trimmer so I'm just gonna follow this line down just on the inside hopefully get it straight-ish <laughs> Could have actually dragged my big trimmer out but it doesn't fit on the desk properly not to film I and mean, it's, it's just awkward um when i do it off camera i tend to just put it on the floor um and lean down to it that can be um easier 
Right, so that's that one. I'm thinking these scissors are surely um, sharp enough to go through. trim what I want on my little tabletop um, trimmer so I do have this book in my Amazon um, affiliate link which is my Amazon favorites if you wanted um, the full title and, and what have you and the majority of the things that I use are on my <coughs> favorites as well if you wanted to know what certain things are called and that, I know when you're watching a video, sometimes after you're like, what What was that? What did she say? Because I do it myself and then I'm having to rewind videos and find the exact spot where they said it. Right, let's just get rid of these. So, let's, um, <coughs> let's measure... Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to measure length. So it's just over six. Oh, this only goes to five. Yeah, I could do with the trimmer what's just a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to get my ruler here. <coughs> and I'm going to cut it at six. I mean, it's going to be ish with doing it with the, with the roller. So that will be the front of one. Let's just take that down a bit. And, if, and that will be the front of another. So that's the front. Then <coughs> I'm going to need another full panel for the inside left. Okay, let's get the roller again. that and okay I'm not sure what what else I want at this this moment in in time oh I'm gonna need this because I need the uh, width so it's about four and a quarter so these are taller oh dear I don't think they're very straight I should have just got the big trimmer out shouldn't I uh, I'm going to do these one at a time so if we do it four and a quarter and this one let's just go down this side a little bit and four and a quarter Let's get them straightened up a little bit. Okay. Still not really straight. 
Oh dear. Yeah, next time, just get the big trimmer out. Right, we'll see what they look like when they're on. So that's front and um, the first as you open it. So that's going to be that. Yeah, that's fine. And then that's going to be that. And you're going to have a pocket in there like so. And then on this side, we're going to have this here. Where am I going to do it? I'm going to do it that side and then I'm going to have that here. No, I'm going to have that there. So whatever you've got in, you can pull it this way. So all I want really is a piece about two inches. So let's cut that. So I said by six, didn't I? Okay. <clears throat> Still not obviously picking, <laughs> getting the big trim out because now I only need two pieces. Right. Let's. So we want it six, six high. So I'm going to cut that in a little bit and we we'll go, I'm going to go to a bit, so that's that one and then I'm going to go this side, so to my back. And we'll go there. So that should be lovely. Let's have, have a look. Um, so what I'm going to do is cut this straight across. And I brought my scissors up just at the end so that I didn't go through. Let's do it quite again. So just getting a slither going across. And then stopping just, just before you get to the end just to give you that, okay? So that's going to be um, a back pocket. Oh, let's try and... Mind you, I'm going to wait until um, I've matted it, actually. Am I? Let's mat it now before I join them together. So that's going to be the front, and I think that's going to be the front. So we'll have this one as that one. And we're going to want to ink around. bringing the ink in, in a little bit because I have cut these a little bit too short but it, it really doesn't doesn't matter at all and if there's some gappy bits you can always um, put some washi tape um, around the sides and, and things um, you can hide it so that's that one <coughs> then I'm going to Ink around this. I 
think I'm using gathered twigs. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have a look in a, in a tick. And I'm using walnut, walnut stain. And I would have chosen walnut stain because it um, covers over the craft better than um, the gathered twigs and the vintage photo, I think. Right, so that's that. So we're going to glue this down. And I don't want to glue inside there because that's going to be a pocket. So which is going to be quite... Well, it's not going to be quite difficult, is it? But So if it's about there... Um, so I'm going to start the gluing from there. Okay. And I'm going to follow this down. Wondering if you can hear my blinds um, banging. I've got the my bedroom window open and the blinds shut because it's quite warm. Um, and it must be quite windy because I keep hearing them tap, tap, tapping. And then I'm going to put a bit of glue down there, like so. And I'm just going to get under there just to give it a little bit more stability because that's obviously where, <coughs> where it's been cut. And I'm going to place that down there. On this wrong. Let me think. No, I haven't. Ignore me. Sorry. I was just thinking. Oh, it, this is this piece, and I only need the thin one. It isn't. It isn't at all. It was one of them. Oh my goodness moments. Right. So that's all down. Then I'm gonna just pop this um, inside here. Try like so. Just try and eyeball middle-ish. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And then. Um, <coughs> Just gonna inside the thumb hole. And just a bit more. Mind you, the pocket will go there. So, <clears throat> so that's that one. And I don't want that one that's that one so you're just going to pop that <coughs> inside of there the reason i haven't stuck it together till now is just because i thought it might be a bit awkward doing this when this is already stuck down i don't you know it really doesn't matter i was just doing it for for ease i don't know if it made it easier or not but who knows? And then I've just glued that flap. And I'm going to put that inside there. Okay. And this flap. think I'm going to keep the flat because who knows if I want to use it as as a flip out um originally I did think that I was going to glue it down um on the page and I've um a tuck behind but if I left that flap on it would give me um options so I'm not going to cover the back um I'm going to leave it craft um because if I'm not 
going to do that then <clears throat> no point in adding bulk if if there's no no need so i'm just going to make sure that that's squarish and then just give it a bit of a crease down yeah right so we've got a pocket there that's going to go there like so i'm just going to get my bone folder just <coughs> give things a bit of a burnish down Oops. like so and get this glued down i'll do the second one um off camera but like I say I wanted to make two because I've saved two of everything um, so far for me, me to use in, in some future future journals Let's make sure you've got the top bit that's that <coughs> and that can be placed there Okay, I think that's straight-ish, let's have a look. Yeah, that's fine. Right, and then this is going to go here, because I want to be able to pull out this way. Now... <coughs> This is going to go here. If that was like that, nothing's going to catch. I don't think there's any need. Um, I mean, I can just glue this so it doesn't get caught. Um, if you wanted, you could have that as a... Um, opening or a side um, one and use the inside of the envelope I don't want to for, for this one so I'm just going to ink around here and I'm just going to don't need to do that bit because <clears throat> that bit will be covered. Just said I don't need to do that bit and I'm doing it. <laughs> it's because I put it upside down, it, it totally threw me. Right, so that can go on there like so. Need to glue the whole thing down. Okay, good. And that can go there. and then that is going to get stuck down there um, let me just get yeah, pencil I think I'm going to fold this up. Because then that can become a little pocket as well. So you've got the thing there and, and not there. Instead of cutting it, cutting it down. So I'll just burn it, that down. Um, I'll get my little... I've just got the one inch uh, punch. I'll try and centre 
centre it. And then I'm just gonna put a bit of glue up each side. Okay, and then this one's gluing <coughs> down both sides and down this the back part. Okay. Can you just place that there? If my head's not in, no, it's not. <clears throat> so I'm still getting used to this um, camera angle. A couple of videos went up, not last week, the week before, and a few widgets had said I was totally out of shot. Um, <clears throat> and I think that was when I'd realised um, that. I'd had a couple of videos where I knew that I'd filmed out of shot um, and then I, I changed my uh, view but I'm still still getting used to it but because I film um, at different different times um, you might still see some videos that have got the old shot so you'll be like why has she changed it around again and it isn't it's just because I filmed, filmed them at different times so that's that. Oh, I like that. So you can just see uh, the pocket there. And I've got a flip there and a pocket there and a pocket there. Like I say, then this can either flip out or it can be stuck down and we can have a side of that. And then we'll put something on the front. And it's still quite thin. I know there's no, you know, no tags in at this point. But, um, yeah, at the minute, it's still really very thin. Which is good. And if you just put quite plainish um, tags on, you know, not embellished. It won't be very thick at all. Right, is this the front one? Yep. Just ink around here. So it probably will be a while till I get on to doing a botanical journal. Um, <clears throat> if you've seen, I did have a voting thing for the next project and um, Edith Alden Alter File Folders uh, won. So <clears throat> that's really not straight. looks well, fine on the paper then. Oh well, it's supposed to, it's supposed to be, no, that's terrible. <laughs> Let me just straighten it up. I've gone to say, this is not straight and this is ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping to get that filmed and that'll um, go up over a weekend. So, if it takes two parts, then it'll, there'll be one up on a Saturday and one up on a Sunday. If it takes three, there'll be, say, two up on a Saturday, one on the Sunday. And if it's four, then there'll be two on each day. But I do want to try and get, um, you know, the old project uh, filmed and, and up for you over just one weekend. And then um, I've been gathering things together to do. Um, a ring bound journal and I've decided to do it in uh, the botanical kit from Paper Cameo and I'm also getting things together for a soft cover journal and I'm going to use uh, a blue kit from Paper Cameo and then I think I'm going to be doing um, 
card cover and that's going to be using a couple of kits from Nanine at College Type. Oh, I like that. So we need a bit of something on, don't we? I'm just rooting through labels. Now I have made uh, some of some of these. These are coming up in a video. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. Yeah, I'd like to do a couple of different um, soft cover journals. I've never done done one, um, and I've never done a ring bound, and um, I've never really done a hard back cover. Right? I don't know. Would you call the Amazon packaging one that I did? I suppose that's a hard hard back as such. I don't know. I think it's I interpretate things, isn't it? What's one person's yeah that's definitely an odd back of being another person's no no it's it's not so i don't know i don't feel like i've <laughs> i've done them so that's that i really love that <laughs> oh that's great so i'm not going to put any um tags in in that um now i'm thinking i'm gonna have to probably make make some um up unless shall we just have a quick look how long have we been on oh only 31 let's, let's have a look if we've got anything that's the wrong the wrong one i know i'm gonna have to make one to go in in the back part so let's have a have a look. I don't want birds. So I'm guessing these are from the same um, time. Oh, I've got some here. What's in the matching, matching paper? So I might put that in. And I've got another one which I can put in, in the other um, one. My journal cards. I'm not sure I've made many um, journal cards. Yeah, quite like <laughs> one of these sorts. Oh, we've got the. Maybe a bit too too small. I like that one, and I like well, I like them all. I like that one. Yeah, I like that. So I choose one of those for for there. I don't suppose that's gonna fit in there, is it? Oh nearly. I don't think I've got anything. Um oh hold on. No. I bet you one of those would fit in, but I think I've only got one. That fits in. Oh, why haven't I got another one? I don't even think I've got anything um, as small as oh, I've got. Oh, I like that. So that's that. Oh, so all I will have to make is one, one to go in there. So let's get a couple of um, labels and, and such. Do I want labels? Um, I'm just looking in my journal cards just to say, no, that'd be too. Might get lost, wouldn't I? Let's 
too small this time, is it? Yeah, I'm just a fraction. Just looking at, at those, but I suppose they're complete things within the cells, aren't they? Um, yeah, not got a lot of journal cards at all. And I've got no um, <laughs> decent size ones. And they all got lost. Right, yeah, I will have to make some <laughs> to go to go in there. Still looking. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame that they didn't go go in. Do we have to put them in actually? Because it is a bit. If you remember those that little writing spots in. See how on it. Can go there, that can go there, <coughs> that can go back. Right, so that's that one. Let's just have a, have a look for a couple of labels. Maybe a blank label would be nice. Oh, that's nice. I'll put that there for the for the other one. That's nice. I think that's um <coughs> a name name one from college uh type. I want to put that one there and then put that there for, for the other one. Make a little number or something. Or we could have a better definition. Too big. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So put that one there. Oh yes, I really like these. <coughs> Even though we did get, <laughs> well, I did get off to a not a very good start, but um, yeah, I like these. So I'll just do the the other one. You know, the the same, which um. I think I might do that notes for that one. But yes, I have got a video coming up um, doing those. I think it's in about two more weeks. <coughs> so yeah, see, I film. Um, and sometimes I film... Well, now I've got quite in front, I can kind of film what, what I want, even though it's not due not due but isn't oh, I'm not making any sense when when you're not filming in front you obviously have to film in order um whereas when you get in front you can kind of be a bit more casual about it so like I say sometimes I can film something and 
it, it's not going to go up for like three, four weeks. Other things, I film them and they need going up within two days kind of thing because that's where it fits into to whatever series um, it is. So that's what I say about the, the camera angles, you'll think thought she'd sorted that angle out and now she's <laughs> so yeah but I'm so glad you know I did get in front um not being well and holiday and going back to work and all the rest of it um yeah and it would have been a shame because obviously um YouTube you know likes you to be regular with um filming and stuff because you just get seen, seen more. Um, yeah, it kind of forgets about you if um, <laughs> if you're not consistent. So that's that, and that's that. And like I say, I'll leave that like that and make a. Um, I mean, obviously, I won't need um, <clears throat> it flappy. You know, as flappy as as that. So let's just, just come out. And then cut it down there. And because this is a, a thin envelope, I would, um, you know, make it sturdier. So that's that. Really like it. So thank you very much. There is um, going to be another video up today. And then the weekends of uh, doing these projects uh, will be over. So if you've enjoyed them, um, let me let me know i've really enjoyed them and um yeah really enjoyed using using this the book pages so i shall see you in the next video bye for now